Hey, how's it going? And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take an UE4 animation and upgrade it to a UE5 character. So this shouldn't take too long. The first thing that you need to do is go and create a new project in the current version of Unreal Engine, which is 5.21. So go ahead and create a new blank third person project in 5.2.1. And then you'll need to have a prior version of Unreal Four available 4.26 or 4.27 and go ahead and launch that so go ahead and create a new third person project in 5.2 and then after you do that and leave that open and I have that right here already open and then go ahead and launch an older version of Unreal Engine 4 the third person template and this just takes a minute to do and we'll go to games and we'll go next and we'll go third person and we'll leave it just called transfer and create project. And it just takes a minute to upload. All we're using this version is basically to import and export our animations out of. So to do that, you can just drag and drop the animations on here or you can also go into import here, import, and then just go into your, I have those, I just did a tutorial about these, I guess there's six animations in here. I said that there were five, but there are six. And we just want this entering car one. So we'll just go open. And then when it comes in, you're gonna get this import box and just be sure to tie it to the UE4 mannequin and go import all. And then it comes in. And then once it comes in, all you have to do is save all, make sure you save it. So we've imported it. And now we're gonna, as soon as we cut it in, we're gonna export it. So we're gonna actually migrate it. So we're gonna right click Go to asset actions and we're going to, go to migrate and we'll go okay and then we'll just find that new 5.2 project we made which is called my project and we'll go okay and then it'll just say down here content migration completed successfully so once you've migrated over all your old ue4 animations you can close this out and now we can go into Unreal Engine 5.2. It's confusing jumping between engine versions. Here in the content level, you click all. It's funny because I don't necessarily see it right away. So sometimes you have to restart it, but I know it's in here. So we're just going to search for it and go enter because that's what it's called. And there it is right there. And all we want to do is drag this to our UE4 animations folder and go move here. So it should, copy of it should be here and here as well. So that animation should be in there and that's great. And then all we have to do is if we come into the, if we're in the UE4 rigs here, uh, we gotta clear our search bar. You're gonna see this, which is amazing that Unreal ha has this already built in for us, but it's an IK retargeter. For, specifically for UE4 to UE5, and this is really the star of the show, this this retargeter that they've included. And so we double click into it, and you can see there's our UE4, and that's our UE5. And so here is the next thing. We're gonna come over here to the asset browser, and you'll notice we just have this one animation, and we don't see the one we just brought in. So what we can do is click on that gear, and you see where it says allow incompatible skeletons? Click that box. And then you should see the entering car animation right there. And so go ahead and select that. This is just a single animation we're doing, but if there were multiple ones, you could multiple select them. And we can go export. And then here we can just decide where we want to export it to. We can do it to the content level. If on the content here, I believe that we can right click and create a new folder and just call this retarget anims or whatever you want to call it and just select that folder and then just go export. And now it's imported and converted our UE4 animation into UE5 and then just simply if we drag it down on the scene and I hit play, my system is really laggy you can see our animation seems to be working just perfect. And this is a very helpful animation, by the way. 
So anyway, that's how you convert a UE4 to a UE5 animation. I hope you found this helpful. Take care and have a great day.